Welcome, 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 welcome to yoga class, yoga class, sitting crisscross, hands together at our hearts, namaste, namaste. Welcome to this week's preschool yoga class and our theme this week is Earth Day, which is on Wednesday. And if you're not watching it on Wednesday, that will be the 22nd of April. That's the day we celebrate all things natural on this beautiful planet of ours. So, to respect our planet, we're going to start with some oms. Now, thousands of years ago, the yogis would sit around going, om. And the reason they did this was because that they thought the sound copied the vibration of the planet, the vibration of the universe. Now, we are not going to sit around just going om, because we're kids, and us kids invented silly oms. We need to do the silly oms in order to do our nice, respectful om at the end. So we're going to do uh, two silly oms today. The first silly on, we call it our underwater on, and that is to honour all things in the oceans today. So, we're going to make it as if we're creating bubbles by wobbling our lips like this. But we're going to make it that while we're doing the om sound. Now, to get a good om, we breathe in through our nose and we fill up our tummy balloons. And you can only use this air in your tummy to make the om. As soon as this is all gone, you've got to be quiet, okay? Now we start off with the R, and as soon as you feel yourself running out of air, that's when you put your lips together to do the mmm at the end. Shall we have a try? Breathing in through your nose, fill up that tummy. Finger ready. Om. Very good. The next one we're going to do is our Tarzan Om, and this is to respect all things animal. Now, some of you might not have heard of Tarzan. He was a, a character from a book many, many years ago. But it's been turned into films. Even Disney have made a film. And it's all about a man, when he was a child, he got lost from his family. And he was taken care of by a group of gorillas. And they brought him up from a little boy into a man. And because he was had a family of gorillas, he used to communicate, communicate, like a gorilla by banging his chest. So we're going to make the om sound while we bang our chest. Now our chest is this bit up here. Not down here, but up here, okay? Get your hands ready. Breathe in. Om. Very good. Now we've got rid of those silly oms, we can do one proper om and we're going to do that to make sure that uh, we're in tune with our planet on this wonderful Earth Day yoga class. Let's breathe in and try and make a beautiful sound out. Um. Oh, I ran out of air quite quickly on that one. Very good. You sounded beautiful. Let's sit up tall, give your shoulders a bit of a wiggle, stretch those arms out, give me a wave, hi. Let's get ready to do our mini meditation. Remember how we tap our fingers together and say our magic yoga words. Can you remember those magic yoga words? You got it, peace begins with me. You're so clever at remembering. Sitting up tall, take a breath in. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. 
peace begins with me. Whisper it. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Silent ones. Keep tapping those fingers. Say the words in your head. Close your eyes. Keep going. Open your eyes and feel calmer, hopefully. At the moment, everything seems to have slowed down. We're in the great pause and nature is loving it. Have you noticed there are lots more flowers around coming into flower pose? We're going to pop our feet together and we're going to put one leg under, uh, one arm under even, one arm under our leg, the other arm under our leg and we're going to balance, trying to keep our backs nice and straight. There are so many more beautiful flowers around because there's not so many, uh, not so much grass being cut. And because there's more flowers, there are more butterflies. I have seen loads. Feet together, flap those wings. Maybe your arms will join in. Put some wings up here, give them a little flap. You're a crazy butterfly. Da -da 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 -da. Very good. Now I like to take my dog for her walk every day. Coming on to dog pose. Take your feet for a little run, so you're walking the dog. And I've noticed when I've been walking the dog, the world seems so much quieter. I can hear the birds singing in the trees. Coming up, standing tall, on one foot, lean forward, into warrior three, our bird pose. Maybe you make a little birdie sound. Well, there's birds over here, and there's birds over there. Same again. Bring your leg up. Tweet, 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 tweet. And it's so quiet. I can hear the rustle of the wind in the trees. One foot nice and steady on the ground. Little trees, baby trees or giant oak trees. What do you feel like you can do today? Put your branches out. Maybe they're blowing in the wind. So my leaves are blowing, but my trunk is strong. There were trees over here. And of course there's trees over there as well. Swap sides, how did you do it? Little trees. Those ones, or the great big oak trees. It's okay if you need to hold on, or hold the hand of your, if you're doing it with your grown up. And that's how we got to stand today. We're going to do an Earth Day salutation. I'm gonna to come to the front of my mat. Are you ready? Stretch those arms up, look up to the sky and say, hello sky. Can you say that? Hello sky. Fold all the way down and say, hello earth. Step back. Hello rain. Splash in those puddles. Down. Hello wind. Onto your tummy. Hello, oceans. Hello, wind. Hello, rain. Splash, 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 splash. Hello, earth. And hello, sky. Hi. Namaste.
Should we do that one more time? Hello sky. Hello earth. Hello rain. Hello wind. Hello oceans. Hello wind. Hello rain. Splash, 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 splash. Hello earth. Hello sky. Namaste. Time for a song, every little cell. Here's a fun song that you can sing. It makes every little cell in your body ring. Pat every single body part when you hear this chorus start. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Shake yourself, it's good for your health. Every little cell is happy and well. Shake yourself, it's good for your health. Every little cell is happy and well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is toes. Every little cell. Cottontail story. We're on our knees, hands behind our back, 
Our arms could come out ears as we bend over. Well, they weren't happy either. Snakes and rabbits live in holes and the rubbish was filling up the holes. One day, Goldilocks was wandering and wandering and shoving in food so much that she got lost in the woods. Can we be the tree? Oh, I did that one already. I'm going to do the other one. The tree on the other side. And so she was really getting quite worried. She came across an eagle. So this foot's going to stay on the ground. This leg's crisscrossing over. Put my wings out. Cross the arms. One underneath goes up, the other one comes up here, and you can bend down. Eagle pose, push those arms up towards the sky. You're looking great. Well done. Now, what's even trickier, we're going to try and do this on the other side. So look at your arms, and can you cross the one underneath over the top? That's it. And bring those hands together. What about my legs? Swap those over, bend down, push those arms up. You are an eagle, you look amazing, well done. Hold it there and slowly unravel. Well, the eagle says over there to Goldilocks and there was a house. So she went over to ask for some directions out of the forest. But when she got there, she knocked on the door. Nobody was in. So, of course, she just let herself in, didn't she? Well, when she got there, she could smell something delicious. Can you breathe in through your nose? Can you smell something delicious? Try again. Mmm, give that tummy a rub. There, on the table, coming onto your hands and your knees, make a nice big flat table. Make sure your head isn't too down. Look at your hands. Make your back flat as if you could put a glass on there. Glass of water and it's not going to fall off. Good job. Now on that table, there were three bowls. Three bowls made out of recycled plastic. Here's one bowl. So Yogi Locks looked at the bowls and decided to try. Bending down, have a taste of the first bowl. Mmm, that's cold. Ugh. Don't like cold porridge. She tried the next one. Bending down. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> hot. Can you make that hot sound? Breathe in. <sighs> hot. So she tried the last bowl. Mmm, smells good. Bending down, she had a little taste. Mmm, that's perfect. And she gobbled it all up. Bend down. Mm -hmm. And then she left the bowls all there in a big mess. She decided to go and watch a bit of telly. TV watching pose. Toes together, knees out wide, coming down onto your elbows, ready to watch a bit of telly. But when she got into the television room, she saw there were three chairs, all made of beautiful wood from the trees. Her first sit down was in quite a high chair. Can you just put your bottom out long? Bottom out long, bottom out a little bit. That's it, standing up tall. It's a very high chair. That wasn't comfy at all. So she tried the second chair. Now this one was a bit lower. Make your feet a bit wider. Can you come down? Oh, can you get any lower? Can you get any lower? Oh, that's a small chair. That's not very comfy. Can you stand up again? Ready? Wee. Then she tried the large chair. Feet a little bit more in. Put your bottom down as if you're going to sit on a proper chair. That's right. Arms up. Wow, you look good. Is it comfortable? Oh, Goldilocks thought so. She sat there and watched a bit of telly. And then she started to get tired. Ah, oh, can we do a bit of a yawn? Can you do a bit of a stretch? Bring
bring one arm up to the sky, hold your hand, pull it up. Oh, bit of a stretch that side. That's good. What about the other side? Hold the arm, stretch it up and pull that one that way. Oh, I can feel that all here. Feels nice. So she went upstairs and into the bedroom where she found three beds. The first bed was very high, feet flat, hands behind, and can you do a big high bed? Oh, that's it. Put your head on the pillow, looking up to the sky. It was just too high and it was very hard. So she tried the other bed coming down onto your back. You're going to put your feet on the ground and then you're going to twist your knees one side because it was so uncomfortable she was wiggling around. Keep your back and your head and your shoulders on the mat and wiggle those legs side to side. It was just too uncomfy. She could not do it. Then she got to the third bed and it was lovely. It had beautiful organic cotton sheets. She laid out in it and she promptly fell asleep. Okay, you guys stay laying down. Let's put some pretty music on. with a <sighs> squeeze your hands let's squeeze those fingers into our hands and then lift your arms off just a little bit off the ground and make them really stiff like robot arms squeezing those fingers in squeeze 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 and then relax Plop. let the hands open let the fingers go soft Give them a wiggle, let them get comfy, and then just forget about those arms. Scrunch up your toes, lift one leg a little bit off the ground, scrunching it up tight, 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 and then drop that leg down, give it a wiggle around, and just forget about that leg. With the other legs, keep scrunching the toes as you lift that one, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your stiff robot leg. And then drop it down, give that one a wiggle, and forget all about those legs. Take a big breath in, and out. Oh, wow. Do you know who lived in those hands, in that house? It was the three bears. On their way back home, as they walked through the woods, they came across lots of rubbish. So they picked it up and brought it home with them. When they got home, they sorted out their recycling, putting all that junk food rubbish they'd found in the forest into the right recycling bins. And they went indoors. They noticed the mess. They went upstairs. the sleeping girl. When they were picking up their rubbish, they noticed that it led all the way to their house. So they thought, hmm, maybe this sleeping girl has something to do with it. 
they gently woke her up. Oh, and Yogi Lox wiggled her toes and fingers. Stretched her arms and her legs away, hugged her knees up to her tummy, and did a little rock from side to side. She blinked her eyes open gently. I was a bit surprised to see three bears there. But the bears were smiling. She wasn't scared. Yogi Lox sat up in bed. And the bears explained that it wasn't good or kind to the planet to drop rubbish. The woods and forests were beautiful. And it isn't good to drop your rubbish. In fact, you can't be a real yogi if you don't clean up after yourself and take care of Mother Earth. So your OM work this week. If you see any rubbish, clean it up. And let's make our planet even better. Bring your hands together, ready for our song. I'll just turn the music off so that we can sing our song. Here we go. My little light bows to your little light, your little light, your little light. My little light bows to your little light, Namaste. I hope you enjoyed your Earth Day yoga and I'll see you again soon. Bye!